retro 3D photo effect in Adobe Spark. Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. If you are visiting for the first time, thank you for stopping by. And if you're coming back, thank you as well. Today we're talking about how to create this retro 3D photo effect look in Adobe Spark. Normally you use something like Photoshop to do this. I think anyone can do this using Adobe Spark. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here I am at spark.adobe.com. I'm going to start a new project. Click on the blue plus sign and go to custom size graphic and just go with a default here. I'm going to import a photo to use for this retro 3D effect. So let's go to the photos button on the left and I will go to Lightroom. That's where I have all my photos saved. And I'm going to bring one that I'm going to be uh, using again for this effect. Now it's best to use something with great contrast. So if the photo is dark, like if your foreground is dark, the background is dark, it's gonna be hard to distinguish between. So you wanna use something that is very contrasty something like this right here that you can see from the background to the foreground that'll make that effect look much better so let me scroll down further try to find something let's see i'm gonna go with this one right here i actually shot this one a while back with a white background that's gonna work best if you don't have a photo already with the background removed you could always use the remove the background i'm gonna do something here just a little bit i'm gonna crop this just to give the remove background a little less work to do. I'm just gonna crop that a bit there. And then I'll go remove background and it should work just fine. And there we go. We've got some little trail ends there at the edge, but that's okay. That should work fine. So here we go. This is the first step. I'm going to just make this a little bit larger. And now what I'm going to do is come down here to filters. We're going to be using what's known as the duo tone effect here in Adobe Spark. So there's the duo tone. And we want that kind of cyan looking color. And I also want white. So let's see here, if I do the opposite. Okay, so we're gonna make this highlight. We're gonna turn the highlight to white. And then let's go to the shadows. And we again want to use the I would say more of the cyan looking color so let's go to more and let's see what else what other options we have let's see it's going to be kind of close to this right here and perhaps just a little let's say maybe darker there we go we're getting closer there slide this a little bit to the right not too much almost that cyan looking color this may take a little tweaking here let's bring it back there we go that's pretty close right there i think right there i think i like that right there and now what we're going to do is grab this one and duplicate it so you're going to see two of them so i've kind of got two next to each other kind of overlaid there you'll know by using the layers button here so if you need to move one or the other just want to make sure that it is at the topmost layer so if I move this one, now I can move that one. So now what I'll do is come back over here to the filters. We're going to scroll down and now we have the shadows color. Initially again was that cyan looking color. Now we want to go and bump that up to kind of the magenta-ish color. I kind of like that right there. That's pretty cool there. All right, maybe just a tad bit. There we go. I'm going to slide that over to the left there along the same lines. All right, we're almost done here. It's actually not going to take too long to get this done. And now, with the top photo selected here, we're going to use these blending modes right here, which Adobe Spark has. Now, this is an Adobe Photoshop feature that's been added to Spark some time ago and you have that ability to blend photos. So we're gonna click here. Right now it's set at normal. And if I click multiply, there we go. We kind of have a see-through photo. And then what you can do here is just make a few of those adjustments and just maybe slide it a little bit. There we go. Let me select both of these, just make it a little bigger. So there we go. We got, we got that 
3D looking style. Now it looks a little purplish as they blend together. I want it to get, look more black. So there may need to be a little tweaking with the color. So come back here to the shadow and I may do just tweak that. So notice what happens when I do that, that the blending, those two colors, when they touch together, you know, it may be a little more black and then let me do the same thing to this one here just tweak it just a tad bit again it's actually just fine i'm just being a little picky about it there we go so it looks a little more black in the center let's see maybe i need this there we go there we go see how it has more of a black there there that's kind of where i wanted it to be and there we go that is the 3d photo effect that retro look and then what you can do is just kind of use your arrow keys to move them a little bit closer again it looks a little bit blurry because that's kind of the effect but that's what i'm trying to do it's that 3d photo effect and uh that's it there not too hard to do we named this project 3d photo effect and that's how to create the 3D photo effect in Adobe Spark. So now it's your turn to create one. Please do tag me if you post it on social or go ahead and drop it into the comments below. Speaking of comments, if you have any questions or comments, drop them in there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thank you once again for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace.